the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 33, Leviticus 1 to 5. Love letter Leviticus. God, who intended to make Israel his holy people, told them five offerings as a procedure of that meeting. First point Jesus' blood has power. Believe in that power. Passover enabled the Israelite nation to gain their freedom. The five offerings made by God enabled all to free themselves from sin. It was only through these five offerings that the people could become a holy nation in a kingdom of priests. In Genesis, we see Abraham trying to offer his son Isaac to God as a burnt offering, but God steps in with a lamb he prepared beforehand. This makes Abraham and Isaac rejoice by claiming Jehovah Zireh. Now, the descendants of Abraham were all able to make offerings to God whenever they wanted with the setting up of the five types of offerings. 1,500 years later, Jesus' blood was offered as God's lamb and with that blood, we all live with God's forgiveness. Second point. Passover was with a one-year-old ram, and communion was with God's young ram. The design of a tabernacle given by God on Mount Sinai was completed. The curtain that was made to distinguish between the holy place and the most holy place was ripped in half. 1,500 years later, when Jesus shouted, It is finished on the cross. As such, we can learn that this design by God was made with the intention to serve for 1,500 years. The Passover lamb was the only way the Israelite nation could leave Egypt and seek forgiveness. 1,500 years later, Jesus who came to this world as the Lamb of God opened a way for us to seek forgiveness. We can really see how God thoroughly plans for human beings' salvation. Third point, God provided the Israelite nation with manna and the Israelite nation made offerings to God. Manna and offering are not so different in that everyone is allowed to eat and everyone is allowed to offer. The Israelite nation was instructed to collect manna every day and on the sixth day collect enough for the next day in order to keep the Sabbath. Whilst eating manna, the Israelite nation was expected to learn about the five offerings to God. Amongst God's creation, the only being that can make an offering to God were human beings. An offering was the only way humans could seek forgiveness from God. Sin could not be solved by regret or self-awareness. The only way to seek forgiveness was through God. As humans made offerings to God, they could open a way to be forgiven, to share between neighbors, and to have peace. Fourth point. The five offerings were burnt, grain, fellowship, sin, and guilt. The first offering was the burnt offering. This offering symbolized life and it involved the sacrificing an animal to God. The second offering was the grain offering. This offering was to thank God for giving humans food from the ground. The third offering was the fellowship offering. This was to say thanks for the blessings in life. The fourth offering was the sin offering. 
This was to repent of the times humans were unable to keep the laws. But if this was too expensive for the sinner, God allowed the person to bring doves or pigeons, and if even this was too much, God said he would receive a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour. Anyone who cannot afford a lamb is to bring two doves or two young pigeons to the Lord as a penalty for their sin, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. If, however, they cannot afford two doves or two young pigeons, they are to bring as an offering for their sin a tenth of an ephah of the finest flour for a sin offering. The fifth offering was the guilt offering. This was to repent after accidentally causing harm to God or one's neighbor's belongings. Fifth point, God forgives anyone who repents. Following on from Noah's offering and Abraham's offering, a kingdom of priests offered a system whereby anyone could make an offering to God. The reason this was possible was due to the tabernacle and also the priests. Now anyone was able to make an offering to God. But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been made known to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference between Jew and Gentile. God's love and forgiveness has no limits. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.